Hi, this is Mr. Erlin, continuing in our constructions of parallel intersecting lines. We just finished constructing a rectangle that was not a square, and now we're asked to construct a square. Well, we could do it the same way. Begin with a segment, construct a perpendicular line segment anywhere. It's basically a perpendicular bisector. Then create another one on this side. That defines a length. We then measured this length and carried it up to, excuse me, here, demonstrating that if I were to go from here to there, these two lengths would be the same. And last time we put a point that was not that location, constructed it perpendicular through that point to ensure that it was rectangle. We could do the same idea ensuring it was here, and that would then give us a square, because all four sides would then be congruent. But I'm going to show you a different way of constructing a square. It actually utilizes something that we don't know yet in our course. We'll learn this in two units when we get to quadrilaterals. But I'm going to suggest that we draw a segment. We then create a perpendicular bisector. So I'm lining up more than halfway, make my football. Connect the endpoints of my football. And this produces, as we know, a perpendicular bisector of the segment. And it turns out that in a square, draw a little sketch over here, if I had a square, the diagonals will be perpendicular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct this to be my diagonals. In other words, my square is going to be like this. Well, if I know that these are right angles, and what I need to do is establish some way that all of my diagonals are the same length. So here's one length, there's that same length, there's the same length, there's the same length. In other words, I'm effectively making a circle the same length all the way around. And if I take each of those points I've just identified and connect them, it will produce a quadrilateral whose diagonals are both perpendicular and congruent. And it turns out that's a square. We'll prove that when we get to the quadrilaterals unit. And to notate this as a square, we should put in the marks that signify it is a square. It's got four congruent sides and four right angles. That's what makes it a square. And that concludes constructing a square.